Yo, what's up, guys? Today we're going to talk about the new movie Godzilla X Kong. I can't remember the full title. I'll put something on the screen. Now, as far as the ongoing current American Godzilla franchise is concerned, I have seen the first installment, which I think came out back in 2014, the one with Aaron Taylor Johnson and Brian Cranston. And that was it. I liked the movie okay. I thought it was pretty decent. It definitely tried to have a very serious take on the story. It didn't have a lot of Godzilla in it, but it wasn't like enough for me to want to stick with the series, I suppose. And then when it comes to the modern Kong movies, which I think is just Kong Skull Island, um, I did not see that one. After doing a little bit of research, this would be the fourth in the Godzilla series. Uh, but the second Godzilla and Kong movie. I don't think it's necessary to watch the previous movies. I think you can pretty much jump in and figure out what's going on. But yeah, this movie mostly follows King Kong as he's kind of looking for family. He does stumble upon a group of apes that are ran by this really evil ape, and they have this other Godzilla-type thing that is a frostbite creature who's going to do some serious damage and destroy all of Hollow Earth. Our human characters decide to follow Kong into a hollow earth. I'm not exactly sure why. So they get mixed in and are trying to help Kong and then realize that, that there's this frost creature and maybe the only thing that could stop them is bringing Godzilla down the hollow earth so that Godzilla and Kong can team up, take out this frostbite creature and save hollow earth. And that is the plot of Godzilla x Kong. So... It's a, it's a monster movie. I was not necessarily anticipating to enjoy the movie. I thought, well, it'd be fun, whatever. I'm not usually big on the big monster battles on screen. It's not really my thing. I was thinking it would kind of just be mindless, mind-numbing CG action. But I was wrong. I thought the action was very well done. And there was a lot of fight sequences. Like, this movie starts right out and gets into things. And there was a lot of big conflict scenes that I thought were choreographed very well. Another thing that I was very surprised by was how enjoyable our main uh, human character cast was. I really like how each of these characters had a very strong persona. Each of them in their own right were really entertaining, especially Dan Stevens to me. I thought he was really funny in the movie. I don't know, like the last Godzilla movie I saw, all the characters were extremely serious. And I think if the plot isn't very strong, then that would be really boring. So I like that they lean into these just kind of exaggerated characters and this kind of cheesy tone. There was lots of like synthwave 80s music going on. The color palette was really enjoyable to look at. I really like that we're getting away from these kind of boring gray and blue images and we're just kind of punching up the color. Like things get gnarly looking and I love that. Like it's, it's a fun movie to look at. Even the scenes that are just like the human characters in their base and they're behind the computers. It's like they put all this neon lighting around them and it, it makes it more fun to look at and more fun to watch. And so I appreciate that. I was just vibing with it and I had a really fun time watching Godzilla X Kong and I did not expect that. I would look forward to seeing another installment in the Godzilla Kong franchise. I think it's pretty fun. I'm not sure if I want to go back and watch the previous ones. Let me know in the comments whether you think that they're as fun, vibrant, and exciting as this movie was. And if so, then maybe I'll go back and check some of them out. If you're in the mood for just like a fun, kind of turn your brain off adventure movie, then check out Godzilla X Kong, subtitle, whatever the rest of the title is. Um, because yeah, it's the greatest movie of all time.